Hello there, welcome to my channel. I've got a quite a large job to do on today. I've got a oh, I've got a machine this big piece of steel. Uh, so I'll have to put it in the lathe and I'm gonna have to put the center steady on to, to hold it together. So follow me in the next few clips and you'll see what uh, what I've got to do with this thing. Okay. Here you can see I have the center steady on the uh, on the workpiece. I'm putting a center drill hole in the end uh, so that I can then just put a, a running center in into the tailstock to support the whole thing and then I can remove the, uh, the center steady so that I can machine this piece of work. So it's, it seems to be going okay at the moment. It's quite a heavy piece. Here I'm turning down the spindle diameter uh, this is to take the, uh, the the spline gear that's got to go on the end. Uh, I've just got to take this down to 15 millimeter diameter. It's got to be a nice fit uh, because later on I'll be putting a keyway into it so that uh, it can it can be located onto the spline gear. So as you can see, there's a mark on the uh, on the outside diameter. Um, that's literally just an oil line. Uh, it's where the the center steady was rubbing on it. It runs on bronze bushes, so you have to put oil on it. And it, it, it doesn't really mark it, it's just left an oil trace on that surface, which doesn't matter because I'll be turning that down anyway. So uh, that, that's going to be okay in the end. So here you can see I've already turned down, a, which is a small shoulder, it's just a, a clearance for where, it, uh, where the spline gear sits into a, a recess. So it's, it's only clearance anyway, so it's not really important. I'm just miking this up to see uh, about how close I'm getting to the, the size I need. I'll just continue machining this until we get down to the correct diameter. As you can see, I've speeded this video up a little bit, uh, basically, because it, it takes quite a long time to machine that sort of length. So even, even though I've speeded it up about uh, twice its normal speed, uh, it's still taking quite a long time to feed along. I hope you're not getting too bored watching this anyway. So, uh, But uh, anyway, continue to watch and, and this is machining out quite nicely. Plenty of coolant on it so that uh, it doesn't get hot. Um, as you can see, I put my hand onto it just to make sure that the, the finish is quite a, a nice finish. Uh, it's, it doesn't need to be a perfect finish, but it's again, it's got to slide into a bearing. So uh, it's got to be fairly accurate. Um, once I've checked this out, I'll just make sure that the, the diameter is the correct, uh, correct size. I'll put a mic on it, and yes, we've got a thumbs up. Here we can see I'm using the uh, wobbler or center finder, as it should be called. And the spindle on that is 10 millimeter diameter. So basically all I need to do is just run this. Uh, I've slowed it down a little bit until the the wobbler itself kicks off to the side. I hope you can see that. It's not very clear, but uh, that will then give me the edge of the material uh, plus five millimeter for the half the diameter of the wobbler. So then I just need to wind it over five millimeter. I've then got the center of the, of the chuck on the uh, edge of the material. Here you can see I'm, I'm putting in the four millimeter uh, slot drill to well to form the the four mil uh, four millimeter by four millimeter keyway. Um, it's uh, excuse the, the the quality of the video. I'm afraid I couldn't get it to focus properly for some reason. But uh, you can get a general idea of of what's actually going on. I've speeded it up a little bit to you know because obviously I because it's such a small cutter, I had to run it very very or feed it very, very slowly, so, uh, but it's coming in okay. So now um, I've started machining the 18 millimeter keyway. Uh, it's in the, uh, this is in the other end of the shaft. I didn't need to recenter the, the uh, cutter basically because uh, the other end I'd already centered to put the four millimeter keyway in. So I was still in the center of the shaft. So all I had to do was go down to the other end of the shaft and uh, change the, the milling cutter. Uh, again, a slot drill. 
which is 18 mil. I've just used a, a, a coolant on it just to get started. That's what all the smoke was. But um, that, that's not too bad. It's looking quite good. So now I'm, I'm just finishing off cutting this, uh, this 18 millimeter keyway. I'm putting a bit, bit of coolant on it now, uh, just to try and make sure that I get a decent finish on it. Uh, rather than just the cutting fluid, I'm using a, a, a water and oil based coolant. So it's, it's down to depth now. I didn't need to go in the full nine millimeter depth that, uh, that should be on an 18 millimeter keyway, but um, it's, it's a slightly odd shape. Uh, the, the key itself is only about 11 millimeter thick. So um, it, I only needed to go down into this workpiece about seven mil, just so that there's only about four or five millimeter sticking above the, the, the height of, the, of the, uh, the shaft itself. So uh, that's, that's machining in quite nicely. Uh, again, I've speeded it up quite a bit to, to make sure that uh, you didn't get too bored watching it. Um, and I'm using the digital 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 control on the uh, the slide. Basically, I've gone in a hundred millimeter in 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 length. So yeah, it's not too bad at all. So here we see the finished item. Uh, down at this uh, bottom end, as you can see, this has got the spline fitted to it already with the key weights, key sticking out. And this end we have the, the 18 millimeter key uh, and keyway. I had to make this the key uh, myself. And then this, obviously, this is the other part that it actually goes into. There you are. Another little job complete. Uh, I say a little job, it's actually quite a big job. Uh, made a key to go in this end as well. So that's fine. And obviously, as you can see, I've turned that down. Uh, I've tapped that in, so I don't really want to take it out at the moment because I don't want to lose that little key that's got to go in there. Okay, so this is all turned down. This is 60 mil diameter, 55 mil here, and then down to 35 here for a shoulder and then inside that sprocket or spline there's uh, it's 15 mil diameter with a keyway okay so quite a complex sort of job in the end because i had to fit the the center steady on the lathe to hold this thing because this this 50 mil uh, 60 mil diameter is too big to go inside the the quill of the machine basically so I had to hold it just in the jaws uh, and then put the centre steady on to then get a centre drill in the end. So okay, went quite well in the end. Quite a few hours work, but uh, mission accomplished. Okay, so look out for me in the next video. Uh, look out for more videos in the future. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my site. Or oh, sorry, my channel. I must stop calling it a site. Okay, so see you in the next one. Goodbye.